coach. What's the holidays usually like for the Christie family? Oh man, uh, hot and heavy. What, what do you mean, man? Uh, <laughs> trying to trying to get some trying to get some shopping. Uh, got my daughter coming in town. My granddaughter coming in. Town. We gonna eat some food, play some games. Nice. You know, every, every would uh, everything that you would think. My wife dropped. My, I mean, it's just ten days to Christmas, so every day for ten days, I I got to get some type of little something little you know something come come home with some chocolate or something man 10 hey, days are you done with all your christmas shopping i'm not gonna lie dc i am not i'm not done with all my christmas shopping just three days ahead of the holiday lord you're that guy bro really? <laughs> <laughs> I, every year this happens to me i don't know how i don't know how it sneaks up on me well, you know how you, you you don't do the right thing. Today. You gotta get... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Know. That's coach talk right there. And you're right. You're right. I can't even deny it. You're doing it wrong, Robbie. Yeah, I'm doing, doing it, wrong. it wrong. You're right. All right. Well, uh, let's get let's get to uh, the game last night. Let's get to some basketball, Doug. So Domas, obviously dominant. You've been around the NBA for a minute. How special has the last two plus weeks been uh, of this run by Domas? Um, it, it's been right up there, man. I, I like to be honest. I haven't seen these type of numbers since you know, since I've seen Webb and you know, some of the, you start putting those names out there and you just go, goodness gracious, man. I mean, he's he's in the groove uh, as far as rebounding goes. The, the jump shot is happening. He is he's in the post. He's being dominant. And the, the biggest thing, you guys, is he is an unselfish player, man. He's always looking for his teammates. And that's when the, really the game, guys, it goes to another level because, you know, now he's starting to see a lot of double teams. They're, they're on him as soon as he catches it, whether it's on the pass, on the dribble, on the catch, wh- whatever it is. And it, he doesn't mind that because he, the double team comes, triple team comes, he's finding teammates, they're knocking down shots, and – all of a sudden, everybody is happy, man. It's just it's a it's a really beautiful thing to watch. It's a lot of fun. It's exactly what I was hoping that it would be when the the trade went down and the first time he grabbed the ball and he swung it around in a circle and it reminded me of Webb Blade and I just went, Good Lord, what just happened, man? Uh, so I, I'm just super excited for him, man, and excited for the guy. I said to Nick earlier in the show, so, because it's, it's not always the most dazzling plays that he's making. It's not behind the back dribbles or or passes. It's so within the flow of the game that sometimes I just turn around and I go, oh, yeah, he's, there, there's another double-double. There's another 2010. Do you ever find yourself on the bench, like, getting the, the, the stat sheet and going, oh, that – Oh wow, Domas had another big night. Almost like it slipped right past you. Yeah, la- last night I-, I looked up and I said, "Man, he's got sixteen rebounds." <laughs> you know, it just it, it happens <laughs> it quickly because he's he's efficient at what he does. Uh, there there are misses or putbacks or whatever. He's right there. He's got great hands. He tips the ball to himself. He'll kick it back out to his teammates. And the numbers really start to add up, especially when they start knocking down shots because he's a, a, on on the other end of that normally with a dribble handoff, a kick out, something like that. Um, you know, getting to the free throw line, knocking down free throws, he hits a three or two, and then he grabs the ball and brings it full, full length to the floor. And all of those things, like you, you said, it, it's not the fancy, crazy play. It's just really, really quality basketball. And I know it has to be – uh, fun for our fans to watch as well. DC with us. Last one about Domas from me, DC. Uh, how much concern do you guys have on the staff about Domas's minutes climbing a little bit too early here? Um, I, I think he, historically, if you look at him, he's a guy that he, he can handle minutes. Um, I think that it'll probably be something that the coach has the conversation as, as we go forward. And, you know, some nights it'll be good, man, if we can really – get our thing together where you, you beat a team and he's able to sit down in the fourth quarter and stuff like that. So um, is it a concern? Yeah, but, you know, I, I come from an era where playing like that was not a big deal. But you do have to monitor it. You do have to make sure and make sure that he is healthy and he takes care of his body like nobody. 
Uh, he's in there working, making sure that he's lifting. He, he does all the things that you need to do to be a high-level professional in today's game of basketball. So that pairing is, is good. It's not like he's eating crazy. and he, he, he does what he needs to do to come and deliver for the audience and for the team every single night. Was last night Keegan Murray's best game, most complete game, and did he really break the defensive player of the game chain afterwards? Uh, no, no, he did not. Oh. He, he did not. Oh. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Now you might be telling me something because I, I didn't. I didn't well, see it. What's around? Well, the so net, let, let me let me fill you in, DC. So Coach Brown last night in the post game. Spec- uh, speculated that the the chain might have been broken by Keegan last night. Ah, okay. You know, uh, gold is a soft, malleable uh, metal. Uh, <laughs> this, 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 this could be, you could that could be a thing. So we'll, we'll have to wait till tomorrow, and we hopefully get another defensive player of the game. And if they if it comes out with uh, tape or all around it. Then, uh, <laughs> He getting screwed up his next paycheck. And he'll make sure and get a new one. Um, but but to your original question, I yeah maybe. Um, I, I just think that last night was offensively a very efficient game. He knocked down shots. He attacked the basket. But I think that there's been probably if we really went back and look other games where he was super good also defensively. Not that he wasn't last night. Um, but when you put up numbers like that, it's a lot easier to say yes. And I will say yes, but um, the, the kid has a lot left in the tank, man. I mean, there's there's so many different aspects of his game that I don't even think that we begin to dig into. I mean, obviously you see the, the ability to shoot the basketball, but now they're going to run him off the line. I think he has the ability to pump fake and put it on the floor. I think then he has the ability to pump fake and put it on the floor. He may. So... Uh, and he hasn't even started like grabbing it off the rim and really bringing it full court and and starting. You know, those are games. Those are part of his games. I think that will evolve. So, got to be super excited if you're a Kings fan for Keegan. DC Doug Christie with us here, Cattles and Rami Sacktown Sports. He's on the Folsom Lake Honda Hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Coach uh, Kevin Herter diversified his offense a little bit last night as the game went on. How important is it? to get him scoring in different ways if that three ball isn't falling? I think it's big because if you if you do not, it's a lot easier to take Kevin out of the game. You're going to see defenders, you know, similar to myself that are, are long. They're going to understand that uh, don't let him catch the basketball. Once he catches the basketball, you got to run him off the line, make him get downhill. Uh, and so – that floater has got to be there. The mid range has got to be there. The snake dribble has got to be there. And then, uh, you know, the pocket pass to Domas, the, the, you know, short drive, kick out, spray it out to your teammates. Like all of those things, I think that is kind of the evolution of where we're going. Like the things that a, a player does well right now, we're, we're doing a lot of those. Now teams, as we go farther and we get into the playoffs and we go deeper into the playoffs, now the thing that you do that that a part they're going to take away what about b c and d and we got to begin to look at that and for for kevin last night i I would agree with you there were there were other elements of his game that he played really well you know i said earlier that domas's game kind of flies under the radar sometimes you turn around and see this huge box score another guy who i think his impact flies under the radar a little bit Harrison Barnes, how big has just his his steadiness and consistency been for this team throughout the start of this year? I, I think huge. I, I think probably even more for, for Coach maybe, and I, I haven't asked him about this, but just having a veteran that you can depend on that can shoot the ball at a high clip, he can go to the free throw line, he draws fouls. And then if you guys have noticed defensively, he has been – two of our defensive player of the games he's gotten, but he's also, we put him on wing players. We put him on shooting guard. We, like he's moved around the floor quite a bit and his ability to just go out there and be steady and be the, be the rock that, that we need on a night to night basis has been huge, man. Like, those, yeah, I would, I, that, that is a great call. Like one of those things that we could go the whole season and say, Oh yeah, he played great, but not really recognize what he's brought to the team and he's brought to the game 
um, super, super big, man. DC, we appreciate the time, man, and, and have a great holiday weekend. It's it's awesome for you guys. You have the full weekend off. You got Saturday and Sunday off to spend with the family. So hopefully it's it's all good and great for you this weekend. We'll talk to you soon. You got it, man. You guys be well. Go Kings. Next year I'm going to do my Christmas shopping earlier, DC. I'm going to take your advice, man. Uh, you know, we're a year away. It's easy to say that. Don't feel like I'm around Thanksgiving uh, next year and see where you're at. <laughs> see you, DC. Be good, man. Talk to you soon. There goes, uh, there goes Doug Christie. Uh, always great to catch man, up with Doug. He was not letting me off the hook. No, he all. shouldn't. You know what? I I said to Kelly today, I'm like, I think I got to go do some shopping tomorrow. I think it's just digital it's, gift cards for everybody.